Well, Marty, we all know the importance of the next two home games, obviously Mill this weekend, Huddersfield next. How much are you looking forward to tomorrow's game? Very much, and actually the focus is only, to be honest, now in Millwall, because we know that every game for us now, it's, it's almost like a cup final. So for us to play at home, to play with our supporters and try to have a yeah, positive performance as we did, I think, against Watford, but hopefully getting the small margins with us in order to pick the three points that we really need, I think it's very important. So um, we had a good training week in the sense of, I think that everybody is aware about what, what we're playing for. And we know that is a, is a massive game for us. So I expect everybody in the squad, in the club, all the supporters to be all together to make sure that we can get a good positive result on Saturday. Obviously, the result went against us last weekend, but we created a number of chances. How much confidence do you take from the fact that you were very much in the game? I think the team in all the games, and obviously Watford was not an exception, I think we have been competing at a very good level. So for most of the minutes, I think that the team has been always showing that, that we never give up. So all the credit to the players in that sense. Even I think the game we played against the Stoke, we were down and we managed to turn it. Until the last second of the game, we kept chasing another goal. Um, uh, with performance as it was perhaps against Millwall in the Boxing Day, I think that despite it was not a great game for us, we were chasing the draw until minute 90 that we considered the, the second goal. So, and I think that the game against Watford was not an exception. Um, a game that we were creating chances that we felt that, that we could get something positive from it. It's not easy mentally to concede the two goals that we concede. The odds to, 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 yeah, to give two goals away in, in distance from shot in a few minutes are, are crazy low. And it happened. And still the team kept pushing. And unfortunately, we didn't manage to create, to score the second goal, but we created a lot of chances. So I would be more worried if the team was not creating those situations, if the team was not playing good personality, if the team was not trying to attack and, 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 and score goals. But obviously, it's an area that we're working, trying to make sure that not only the small margins that we, that we noticed during the last games not have been in our side, sometimes uh, a set piece, sometimes it has been different reasons, no? But we need to make sure that these small margins are on our side. And then we need to make sure that when we got those chances, that we score. So that's why we are trying to work on this. But we know that the final third is a very difficult one to work. Given the level of performance, is it fair to say that, well, without giving too much away too, is it fair to say that you won't need to make too many changes tomorrow? I think that we need to, now we're in a moment where we got a full week again to train. So it has been a very positive one to develop, keep developing our identity. I think the players are buying a lot into the way we want to play football in the way we want to, to, to express ourselves as a team. And in that sense, I've been talking about that, the togetherness that we need to create with our supporters when we play at home, how positive was the, the messages that I got after the game with supporters already in the stadium. Um, despite we didn't get a result in a moment that we really need the results. I think that that, that gives me faith and, and hope that, that we can together build a very strong atmosphere for tomorrow. And then again, I'm aware that football is about results, but making sure that we are together, I'm sure that we're going to get, we're going to get there because small margins and we need just to make sure that those are in our side in order to collect the victories that I think this team deserves. How important would that atmosphere be tomorrow? Massive, massive, especially because now it's been too long since we celebrated the last win together. So I think that all the guys are, are very aware about is the moment that is the is the kind of game is a, is a London derby um, that we have a little bit of uh, this feeling that we were not performing at good level when we play against Millwall away. So I think it's it's small things that give us the energy that we need to play a very good game tomorrow and again to give something to our supporters that they really deserve. I know you were particularly displeased with the performance at Millwall on Boxing Day. What work has gone in on this week to try and overcome them on Saturday? We cannot expect the same football game. We know that it has not been that far. We know that both teams, uh, I think Millwall signed a new centre half yesterday, but more or less it's going to be, in that sense, a similar picture. But we know that every football game has is different, has no life. So in that sense, I think that, that what I'm expecting is to start from zero, to make sure that we start front foot from in the game, that we have a, an aggressive start and that we take the game from the beginning because uh, we need those three points. And I think it's about showing this attitude, this relentless, this uh, energy, this personality that we need to show without thinking in the big picture. Because we are in a moment now that we cannot think about how many games are left. It's a lot of points left, but start to make now some table predictions doesn't make sense. What is important for me is the next game is the most important and I'm preparing the team for that and I'm sure that all the guys know.
And just finally, team news, what can you tell us ahead of tomorrow's game? Neymar is, is, is available out of Ryan Colley, so I think it's good, very good news that we can work with the whole squad at this moment of the season. Uh, that shows that the medical department, that the fitness department, SNC, is doing a very good job with, with the players. And yeah, the last few players have had some issues have been training uh, during the last days. So it's definitely good news for us to face a, such an important game with the whole squad available.